Good evening. I'm John W. Hanley, National Volunteer Chairman of the Board of Governors of the United Way of America. This year, in more than 2,000 communities, millions of people from all walks of life are volunteering to raise funds for the United Way. Last year, this one campaign raised over a billion, one hundred million dollars, and United Way volunteers continued to work to budget and allocate these funds to the 37,000 agencies whose programs in local communities helped over 34 million families. Volunteerism is a unique part of our birthright in a free, democratic society. Our founding fathers volunteered to create a Declaration of Independence and give birth to a new nation. This year, to formally kick off United Way campaigns across the nation, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce a fellow volunteer for the United Way. Ladies and gentlemen, from the White House, the President of the United States. Thank you and good evening. Tonight I would like to speak with you as a volunteer. Throughout my life, I've seen the difference that volunteer efforts can make in people's lives as a governor and now as president. I've come to appreciate the vital role that voluntary agencies play as partners with our government efforts. I know the personal value of service as a local volunteer. My wife, Rosalind, and I continue to be involved in a variety of voluntary agencies and programs. We've seen voluntary programs that serve the aged, the sick, and the handicapped. Through agencies such as the Mental Health Association, the Red Cross, the Urban League, Family Counseling, Boy and Girl Scouts, Children's Welfare Services, the YMCA and the YWCA, the Salvation Army, Visiting Nurses, and many others. United Way agencies are helping to create a healthy climate in which we can care for our parents and grandparents, can raise our own children, and reinforce the strength of the family. This humane work represents a strong expression of our religious traditions. It gives each of us the opportunity to fulfill our spiritual commitment, to reach out to one another. Voluntary effort is also part of our heritage as a free society. Throughout our history, people have come together voluntarily, whether it was to raise a cabin, to care for the needy, or to share what little they had. Our people have always helped one another. That spirit of sharing overcame great obstacles and built our nation. I believe that spirit is still alive in our people today. Volunteerism is important for another reason. It provides a balance between the government and our private citizens. It gives people the opportunity to act because they feel it's important, not because the law requires them to or because it's profitable. In America, through the voluntary sector, the individual can decide on his or her personal level of involvement and commitment. This freely chosen, diverse effort makes for better government and for a better society. United Way's low-cost, single campaign approach at the place of work is an efficient, sensible, fully accountable way of raising funds and delivering services. Today, in every aspect of our lives, we must look for ways to reduce waste and to conserve our scarce resources. One of our most precious resources is the time and talent of our people. And the voluntary programs help us use it in the most efficient way. United Way's program for the future has a goal of $3 billion. Reaching that goal will give us all a greater opportunity to express our own humanity and compassion for one another. I want to salute the millions of volunteers and professionals all across the country who work through the year to make our system of voluntary action strong. And I want to thank you, the contributors, and ask for your fullest fair share contribution in continuing to make these good works possible. Thanks to your support, it will work for all of us the united way. Thank you, and good night. Thank you, Mr. President, on behalf of the 2,000 local United Ways, and a special thanks to this station for making possible this presidential broadcast.